Hey guys, good morning. I'm downtown taking care of my business. I am at a day homeless shelter. I am going to do some art there. I'm also, you know, seeking assistance for my my situation, just being homeless. God damn it, let's keep this shit real. Cause that's how I'm gonna get the help that I need. They already think I don't look the part, but I'm homeless as hell. And I'm coming here for help because I'm broke too. I ain't playing with it. At least I ain't out here trying to, you know, fuck up a good girl's name. I'm just homeless. But anyways, the point of this video today, right now, is I peeped a driver and an assistant delivering, distributing, you know, delivering their product. And the, the assistant showed the driver how to better perform his goddamn duties. Don't play with me, okay? Yo, he loaded up seven cases on a motherfucking dolly and kept it pushing. Found that little sidewalk, that little crossing on the sidewalk. Got that shit over nothing tip. He even ran. Don't play with me. What? <laughs> I liked it. An old boy just had one box. But he's still showing him, listen, I'm going to be all right. Let me show you some things. In the trucking industry, industry, I'm like, oh my gosh, that's what's up. Had to park, you know, the, the truck in the most busiest part of town, Washington Street. This is actually downtown Boston. This is in the middle of town, okay? And he had to park this big ass truck. Okay. Can I turn it and show y'all? Stop playing. Well, I can't, but. And this is an area where there are homeless people, business working class, businesses, etc. Yeah, even the the lady over here, she doing her job wrong too. She didn't take the little pathway to make it easier. She took the hump on the lawn. <laughs> on the sidewalk. Now, you know what? The first guy, he did his job right. He found, you know, the correct way to um, get off of a sidewalk when you have merchandise and product. As opposed to taking the hump and the lump, like, you know, this shit right here. That's how the dolly came in. But this guy, he used a little walker. He's back, guys. He's back. Bye. He just laid down. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he came back with a goddamn container. It's not playing. Don't play with me. Now that's impressive. That's doing the job the right way. Not playing. Everybody happy. You happy, they happy. Shit getting done and we keeping it moving. The assistant, there they go. <laughs> okay, a beach in every can. Mr. Motherfucking Miyago. <laughs> Mr. Amigo. Okay? And he's all thick with it and you know ain't bad on the eyes. Candy. It tastes like candy. Ow. He delivered those cans. What can I say? Ah, ah, ah. Hey, Oh my gosh, that was so impressive. That made my day. That was motivation, <laughs> inspiration, and let's get the job done and keep it pushing because time is everything in the homeless field. They take up your time too goddamn much. Two hours this, four hours that. Like, I'm just sitting here waiting, looking beautiful. I could be doing some shit, but no, I have to be covert. <laughs> Look the part to get some help out here. And I have to play the game because, you know, my shit ain't right. Listen to everyone who is listening and watching my video. My situation happened suddenly. And because I was not on a lease, 
I am now homeless. Prior to that, I paid rent into that situation for six years. Actually, up until I got homeless. Up until I got homeless last year. And you know, last year, y'all know I was, if you follow me, you know I was living in hotels at one point. My daughter invited me back. I went there, but that ain't mine. And you know, she asked me, yo, she, I didn't know what she was going through where she was at. And I'm like, yo, okay. She wanted her space. What can I say? But I also gave her, told me to, told her to give me a timeline. It's not her fault. Shit didn't turn around and pop for me. And now I'm in the position where I don't have to pay rent because I'm living in the shelter. You understand, but my income changed drastically. But it's still help out here. Stop playing, okay? The thing is, don't mess up your good name. If you're homeless, just keep your eyes on the prize. Let the housing be your carrot. Be the bunny type. The housing, the housing, the you know what I mean? Be wanting that shit. Don't just be out here fucking up, being like you know what you see across America and astonishment. People at their worst and on their worst behavior and shit. Like, you know, you come out the door, they doing drugs. And they can. The police can't even, won't stop them. The police are not stopping addicts from killing themselves. All they gonna do is say another one, call for the paramedics to come and get you and bring you to the morgue. They're not even stopping people. There's no rehabs around. The cops are not arresting goddamn dealers. The dealers do need to bring the drugs because if the dealers don't bring the drugs, the the, the, the people could die because they're so dependent on it and there's nothing properly to help them to get off the drug withdrawal and safely and without harming anybody. So they use the drug now just to keep going. It's not even an escape anymore for them. It's just now they need that shit because it's like the blood running through their veins. They are really truly addicted. They cannot function without that. And that's where you don't want to go. You don't want to feel like them. You know what I mean? Depending upon some shit like drugs. Because every door you go through is saying no. Because it's discouraging. Because, you know, people try to break your spirit and, you know, give you anxiety and play with your time and play games. Like, you just got to keep, you know, on the yellow brick road until you get what you want. You understand? Because if they say there's help out here, What's up? I had an income and I really couldn't get the help. I was misled and a lot of things wasn't done for me. Now that I'm deep in like the deep dive of this homeless situation, I'm really seeing nothing was done for me. You better advocate for yourself so you know that shit get done. Just because you have an organization and you walk into it don't mean you are going to get the service that you need or the help that you need. Even with money, they're not going to even give you the information. They're not going to even try to help navigate you. Because you should not have anyone falling through the cracks if they meet the requirements. You should not be mis giving anyone misinformation if they meet the requirements. You should not make a person feel like, damn, they want to live on the streets as opposed in the shelter because staff and motherfuckers be fucking with them. Harassing them. You go in there for, for housing and you beefing with motherfuckers. And it's quite... The sanitary, you better be on your sanitary. You better be washing your hands all the time. Don't miss a goddamn count. It's also good to do a little squirt of some sanitizer because so much we going through. It's weird. It's weird. It's crazy. It's strange. And it's something where people are selected, it seems like, to get housing. I don't think it's a requirement. Because if I go to an establishment, I know homeless is homeless the the business of homelessness the sad situation of people losing their housing and becoming homeless has become a billion dollar industry but for like non-profits 
hospitals. 